Imagine pressing play on your favorite video in the internet and, bam, it starts instantly. No loading, no buffering. That's the dream, right? Well, in 2025, some countries have turned that dream into everyday reality, while others still wait for the spinning wheel. Today, we're diving into the global internet race, who's leading on mobile, who's leading at home, and why the gap between countries has never been this fascinating. The rankings we'll explore come from the data of Ookla's Speedtest Global Index, which tracks the median download speeds from all around the world. Median's important because it tells us what the typical user experiences, not just the outliers with ultra-fast fiber network. And we'll be looking at two battlegrounds for this video. First is mobile internet, powered by 4G and 5G, and second is fixed broadband, which is your fiber or cable at home. When it comes to mobile internet in 2025, one region absolutely dominates, the Middle East. The crown jewel among them is the United Arab Emirates, delivering jaw-dropping median speeds of over 546 megabits per second. That's more than 10 times the global average and makes the UAE the undisputed leader for everyday phone browsing, gaming, and streaming. Neck and neck is Qatar, consistently clocking around 517 megabits per second, showing what happens when a small country invests heavily in high-speed 5G infrastructure. Then there's Kuwait, smashing expectations with internet speeds above 370 megabits per second. And don't count out tiny Bahrain. Its nationwide 5G coverage ensures most people see speeds well over 230 megabits per second. But it's not just the Gulf. South Korea, the original internet superstar, is still in the elite tier of high-speed mobile network, pushing past 200 megabits per second on median mobile. And China, with the world's largest 5G rollout, has urban areas where streaming in 4K on the go feels effortless. Europe makes its mark too in this department. Denmark slips into the top 10, showing that efficiency in spectrum and high tower density keeps it competitive. Meanwhile, Bulgaria has surprised everyone, punching above its weight with modernized mobile networks. And perhaps the biggest shocker? Brazil. Once considered an underdog, Brazil's aggressive 5G expansion has catapulted it into the global top 5, proof that investment and competition can rewrite the story in just a few years. Together, these countries are setting a new bar, on your phone, internet isn't just fast enough, it's faster than most home connections elsewhere in the world. Now, let's move from the palm of your hand to the fiber running under your street. Fixed broadband in 2025 tells a different but equally fascinating story. Here, Singapore reigns supreme, again. With city-wide fiber and fierce competition among providers, median home speeds have climbed to a blistering 336 megabits per second, the fastest on Earth. But right behind is the UAE once again, proving that their digital revolution isn't just about mobile. Their home broadband speeds are pushing past 310 megabits per second, making them a double champion in this race. Asia keeps shining with Hong Kong, where dense high-rises and mature fiber networks keep average users above 300 megabits per second. Europe, meanwhile, steps into the spotlight with France reaping the rewards of nationwide fiber initiatives. In fact, France has surged to nearly 287 megabits per second, a massive leap compared to just a decade ago. And here's a twist, Chile. This South American nation isn't just competitive, it's outpacing many European heavyweights with speeds nearing 277 megabits per second. It shows that even regional leaders can break through with the right policies and investments. Even the United States, often criticized for patchy coverage, now sits comfortably in the global top tier, with median home speeds around 274 megabits per second, thanks to fiber expansion and DOCSIS upgrades. Add in Iceland's island-wide fiber and Switzerland's engineering precision, and you've got a global top 10 that mixes both the usual suspects and some unexpected winners. So what separates the winners from the laggards? There are three big factors to consider in this. First, fiber everywhere, the sooner a country wires up, the sooner it dominates broadband ranking. Second, smart spectrum policy, opening the right 5G bands and ensuring solid fiber backhaul. And third, competition and density, 
Places with more providers and more compact cities simply deliver faster, more reliable internet connections. For everyday people, these numbers aren't just bragging rights. A median of 300 megabits per second means seamless 4K streaming, faster cloud backups, smoother video calls, and less lag in gaming. And because these are median speeds, half the users in those countries are seeing even better performance. In short, 2025 is the year of the UAE on mobile and Singapore on fixed broadband, but underdog countries like Brazil and Chile prove the leaderboard is never set in stone. The internet race is global, and every year brings new surprises on the board. Thanks for sticking around until the end of our video. If you're still here, that means you're curious, just like us, and we'd love to have you join the journey. Hitting subscribe, dropping a like, and leaving your thoughts in the comments really helps our channel grow. We post fresh reels every single day and a new long-form video every week, so there's always something fascinating coming your way. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.